Fans of Southern California continue to celebrate their 100th anniversary of playing football as Larry Smith takes Troy up against an old friend, Jim Sweeney, and the Fresno State Bulldogs. Now, I've been told the last person out of Fresno did, in fact, turn out the lights. They call it the Red Wave. 25,000 have poured into Anaheim Stadium for this, the ninth Freedom Bowl. Temperature certainly won't be a problem tonight, 55 degrees. The wind won't be a problem either, but the forecast is for rain on and off, and uh, just when we said hello, the skies began to leak. Fresno State won the toss they will receive. It is Michael Ross and Anthony Daigle, number one, two, respectively. Ford has got a leg. He can flat out boot it, and he got into this one. It'll back Ross up a four yards deep, and he'll go down on an E. There he is, number 12, Trent Dilfer, a sophomore from Aptos, California. And what a tremendous, a bevy of offensive talent he has. Neil Rivers, the running back, Sebron, his best receiver, Titus Winans, and Marty Thompson. Question is, can this offensive line that played so well in the Western Athletic Conference, can they contain a packed-in defense, the likes of Southern California? First down at the 20. Play action. Flags are flying all over the place. Winnie, I want to open up on offense. The ball now at the 15-yard line. Dilfer, three-step drop, shoots it out to the right side, and out of bounds it goes. Southern California defensively, they play the 3-4, led by David Webb. We'll be talking about him all evening long. And that linebacking core, Willie McGinnis, number 55, he will be in that Fresno State backfield all night long. In the secondary, it's a good one, led by senior strong safety, Stephon Pace. Second down and 15. Dilfer with time, now releases. It is caught out of the 20. Third down and nine. Steps up, looking long, now shoots it to the near side. It is caught. Lorenzo Neal, the fullback, takes it out across the 30. Double wide outs to the top of your screen. Now the dog shifting to the eye. Dilber in quarterback, first down, second man through. It's the Whoa. tailback, and oh, does he have running room? Rivers out across the 46. A flag is down back at the 33. And, Bill, that most likely is someone in the neutral zone. Wide to the right is Lee Harris. In the slot is Charlie Jones. Give to the right side. It is Ron Rivers, and he'll move it across the 47 near the 48. The game. Amazing statistics. Again, the Bulldogs shift into the eye. Second down and eight. Daigle moves it to the midfield stripe. Fresno State's first possession of this ninth freedom bowl from Anaheim, California. Draw play. Lorenzo Neal, he gets to the line of scrimmage, and Willie McGinnis. No mistake about it, Mahoney's going to put this one out of bounds. They do not want Conway to get it. Wait a minute, he puts it down the middle of the field. Little pooch putt, and oh, did he do it nicely. Dead at the seven-yard line. Their first possession, and they'll begin from the eye. Rob Johnson is the quarterback. The setbacks, Mahoney and Creighton. Estrus Creighton across the left side. He is out to the 17-yard line. There's that SC offense. Mooney, a senior fullback, and Estrus Creighton, a senior tailback, were announced as late starters about a half hour ago. The offensive line, it's a big one, but they sorely miss a man by the name of Baselli. Tony Baselli out at left tackle with a severely injured ankle. Again from the eye on first and 10. Across the 23, Nick Surface, and there you see Surface. He is the right end, Zach Ricks. He's the nose guard, a senior, started all four years, led the team in tackles with 125, the linebacking core. First time this year, Earl Oliver will be a linebacker. He is normally the left defensive end. In the secondary, it is keyed by Sam Watson and James Burton. Burton with 15 deflections and three picks this year. Bob Johnson audibleizing now. Mooney can't hear the call. He steps up. Now Creighton ships into the pro set. Johnson, flags are everywhere. Second down and nine. Johnson, all the time in the world, shoots it out to the left side. And is it caught? The officials say no, it was not caught. Wide to the left is Conway. In the slot, Johnny Morton. SC out of the shotgun. 
Conway running a fly. Johnson right over the center. It is caught at the 35, and it can't hold it. And Malcolm Seabron are back for Fresno State. And Stonehouse with no pressure and over in. Line drive taken at the 45. First and 10, Bulldogs. Trent Dilfer, the sophomore at quarterback. There's the draw. It is Lorenzo Neal, and he's got it. Still on his feet, spins to the 40-yard line, a gain of eight. Line to the left is Michael Jones, and the slot is Charlie Jones. Little counter to the 33-yard line. The slot, it is Michael Ross to the right. Play action. Dilbert looking for his tight end. Sends it out to the right side. It is caught. Lorenzo Neal carries it to the 24-yard line. It's second down and one at the 23-yard line. That's Neal again. It'll be close to the first down. He is wide to the left along with Winans. The give straight ahead. And he's not going to get much. William McGinnis. Trent Dilfer automalizes it. On second down and 11. And now flags are flying, and they're going to get called for too much time. Looking for Thompson, his tight end, and he's got him. Marty Thompson. I don't know of any other team in Division I that has the numbers that this offense has compiled. We'll tell you about it in a moment. Third down and eight. Dilfer looking in zone. Throws. It is incomplete at the four-yard line. Eric Mahoney. He is 10 of 11 this year. He led the whack. In percentage. High snap. It goes down. It is blocked. Taken at the six-yard line by Stephon Pace. Pace takes it out of bounds at the 13-yard line. I believe Jason Oliver is the guy who got his hand on it. Larry Smith, six-year tenure. Chris Quayton, the senior tailback, trips out across the 21 to the 22. Second down and one. Go Blue Dog! First guy, that is Mike Mundog Money, the senior. And he's playing in his 34th consecutive game for Fresno State, and that's something for a nose guard. Creighton picks his way out across the 38. When you consider that only four times this year did Creighton rush for 100 yards. at the line by Zach Ricks. The senior from Buckaville, California, grabbed him, and they're duking it out down there. Bob Johnson at quarterback on third and five. Short drop, looking long. Once Morton and overthrows him at the 25. The deep, the deep fly pattern. Good snap, Stonehouse. No rush whatsoever, gets away a good one. Flags are down. Could be face mask at the 10-yard line. Face mask. I mean, we wouldn't even be playing them if they weren't a bowl game. We would never schedule them. Well, that just sort of capped off what has been really a couple of weeks of us as I said a moment ago, what Fresno State thought was really a lack of uh, a lack of respect. Double wide outs to the top for the Bulldogs of Fresno State as the back shift into the power eye. Trojan out across the 29. The wideouts, Ross and Titus and Winans are to the left. Dilbert puts it up, looking for his tight end, and he overthrows it out of bounds. The same number that Junior Seau wore at Southern California. That's Ron Rivers. A little counter to third down and seven. The ball at the 33. Dilbert to the near side, and oh, was he pursued, and pursued hard by getting back in his own 19-yard line. Whoa, wide drive, punt. Conway's going to have a return at the 29. He's to look up the yard line and cut from behind and down. Well, if you do punt down the middle of the field, you've got to punt it high. It's not a wide drive like that one was. Counter Estrus Creighton, oh, is he hauled tied. Personal foul, face mask. 
Defense. Oh, that's 15. All right, first down. Now it's first down at the 34. Again from the eye. Boy, he is grabbed up around the shoulder pass by Brad Bell. We've played 15 minutes. Fresno State and Southern California are scoreless. We pause now for these messages from our local stations. It's been a long time since Fresno State has not scored in that first quarter of football. Everybody's jumping. Craig Gibson, the center, jump in the first period. Offside. Defense. Be a first down and five. Second down and less than a yard. Straight ahead it goes. The Bulldogs of Fresno State and the Trojans of Southern California. That's great. Tripped up by Brad Bell at the very explosive offense. Couldn't get on track. They moved the football well, but had to move deep in their own territory. Creighton with a five and is dropped at the four-yard line. Johnny Johnson. He's got two of them this year, one against Washington, the other one against the Bruins of UCLA. Creighton, student body right again, and there are Bulldogs barking everywhere. Out of bounds he goes. In the Fresno State five, the Trojans will come from the eye. Bender is the up back. That's Creighton. Stood up at the five by Zach Ricks and waits for help. Personal foul. Defense, half the distance, all right, first down. Wes Bender will move the pile to the one. Second and goal from the one. Over the top goes Deion Strother, touchdown, Southern Cal. The point after he is 24 of 27 making 25 of 28 for sc eight plays 49 yards it is Dion strutter who has struck first and the trojans are out in front of fresno state he'll squib it picked up by daigle his way out across the 30, spun down at the 31. His sisters, nieces, nephews, they're all here. Look at Lorenzo Neal. Oh, look at him go. Second down and four. The ball is at the 36. Fresno State in the eye. Now they'll shift down to the split back. Used to call that a cross buck. You get down there in the dirt, in the trenches, in the mud. Third down, draw. Lorenzo Neal has got a first down and a whole bunch more. Whoa, did he run right through a tackle? It's your prototypical fullback, six feet, 225 pounds. His center of gravity must be about 18 inches off the turf. Dilbert, look at that time. He can run it. And he's going to do it. Got a good block. He's at the 40. The SC 35 and down there. First down. Come on, Come on, That is Anthony Daigle. Passing team. But when you stop and look at it, they average 226 rushing, 256 passing. Dilper. He's laying it up. And he overthrows his receiver, Charlie Jones, at the three-yard line. You played against Woody Hayes. Penn State going up against Ohio State way back in the 60s. Play action. Dilfer looking to the near side, and he overthrows his receiver once again at the 19-yard line. And look at those fourth down numbers this year. Dilfer. It is cut. It's a first down at the 23-yard line. In the slot, Malcolm Sebron. Play action. Dilfer putting it up. It is cut. Goes Malcolm Sabre at the SC3. Different receivers. It is first down. There is that full house formation by the Bulldogs. The give goes to Anthony Daigle and he is stopped short. And they come right back out in it again. There it is. There's the T heavy formation. The give again straight ahead. Touchdown. Fresno State. Lorenzo Neal. to play on the first half. 
11 plays, 70 yards. I said a few moments ago, you just had the feeling this Fresno State offense was taxiing into position. Well, you see there, 95 is Rick's move to the ball, and Brad Bell, 54, and when he jumps up, he just jumps right into the hands of the defensive line. Rob Johnson, 0 for 3 in this ball game. Looking for the screen. Creighton's got it, and oh, as he hammered. Get the number of the truck. The chant from the red wave is defense. Third and 11 from the shotgun. Johnson coming to the near side. Conway can't hold it. And Malcolm Sebron back at the 35. No pressure at all. And whoa, to Stonehouse sailing. Taken by Jones. Tries to turn the corner. Flags are down. And so is Jones. There's Push the illegal the man. On a return team, half a distance. It'll be a first down. And 353 to tie it. the corner and gets near the first down marker. More confidence, Bill. Second down and a short one. That's Anthony Daigle. Near side. Face Thanks, mask guys. against Southern five California. Five-yarder. Get a first down. First and ten at the 20-yard line. In motion, that's Daigle. Backward pass. Daigle picks his way across the 25 and picks up five. The Bulldogs come from the eye on second down and five. Straight ahead, Lorenzo Neal. And boy, look at him. He's still on his feet. He was hit at the line of scrimmage. And who? And all the Trojans start booing. And here he comes again, Lorenzo Neal. And then said, I love Fresno. I'm going back to the San Joaquin Valley. Dilfer to the near side. It is caught and out of bounds at the 42-yard line. Dilfer on the night, 7 of 13. Three wide outs to the left. The pitch goes to the wide side. Rivers still picking his way. Looks for a block, can't get it. There's that T formation. Lorenzo Neal's got the first down. First down. Fresno State, a huge advantage in total plays. Dilfer pumps once. Pressure coming from behind. He's going to run it again, and out of bounds he goes. Wide to the left is Charlie Jones. Straight ahead, it's Lorenzo Neal again, and he'll get a yard. Third down and three. The give to the short side, Lorenzo Neal is hit by Mike Salmon in the backfield and dropped. There's Conway back at the 16. Mahoney looking for the near sideline. It takes a bounce, and into the end zone it goes. It'll be a touchback. Southern California and Fresno State. We're deadlocked at seven. Rob Johnson at quarterback. The pitch will go to Estris Clayton. And he is going to be strung out and demolished at the 15. Very, very quick off the ball. Controls the center. And there's Ricks again. And he is all over Estris Clayton. who moves it out across the 22. Conway comes wide to the left. He'll draw double coverage. Play action. Johnson looking to the right. Johnny Jackson, the tight end, has got it, and he'll take it out of bounds. It'll stop the clock with 17 seconds left. These guys can burn anybody. From the shotgun, Johnson looking long. What's Johnny Morton? And it is almost intercepted. You wonder if perhaps we perhaps might see Reggie Perry or Kyle Waholtz. Johnson. He's going to take it out of bounds. So that'll stop the clock with three seconds. Here's Morton, Conway, and Travis Hanna. Johnson looking to the near side. He unloads, throws into coverage, and it is incomplete at the 25. The hit by James Burton, and what a hit it was. The red wave is roaring from Fresno as the first half comes to an end. The Bulldogs have played the traditional team well. The Trojans of Southern California it is 7-7 seven seven at halftime. Eric Mahoney, the junior from Fountain Valley, California, to kick it away. It'll come to the near side. Travis Hanna takes it at the two. He 
Mahoney's across the 30. And Mahoney throws him out of bounds at the 46. No huddle offense. Johnson looking down the center of the field throws. It is caught Johnny Morton. He'll turn the corner and is finally tackled at the 21. The game was 28. What a way to open the second half. And the Trojans are walking backwards. Paul start. Offense. First down. Power football out of them. They've got bigger line. There's Estes Clayton, exactly what Dave Ross is talking about. He's to the 20 to 16. And bang down there. And join the offensive backfield of Southern California. Second and five. Johnson looking. It is knocked down at the eight yard line. Great coverage. Line to the left is Larry Wallace. To the right, Morton and Hanna. And it's James Burton that here is Cole Ford. If you look at his numbers, 11 of 19 this year. It's long enough. And it is no good. He missed it to the left. Fresno State takes it at their own 20-yard line. Now they'll shift into the eye. The tailback is Ron Rivers. He's got the football. To the 25. Counter. Lorenzo Neal. Hit by Holland Quist at the 35. It's a first down for tonight. It's first down, Fresno State. Straight ahead it goes. Lorenzo Neal is tripped up at the line of scrimmage. Brian Williams, the weak inside linebacker, from just across the 35. It's 7 to 7 with 11.05 to play on the third period. Dilbert, he'll lay it up, it is caught by Titus Winans. Whoa, what a job he did keeping his feet inbound. And where is that bonded pass rush from Southern Cal? Non-existent tonight, Dilbert has been untouched. There's a draw, Lorenzo Neal. And look at him turn to the 32. Second down and short. Motion, offense, five yard, previous spot. Double wide outs to the top from the eye formation of the Bulldogs. Dilbert. It is incomplete and almost intercepted. Second down in 15. Tried to set up the screen to the tight end, Marty Thompson, and Dilbert overthrew him. A special play yet from the Bulldogs. Dilbert to the near side. It is incomplete at the six. Titus Winans. And this will be from 43 yards away. As long as 44. It's got plenty of distance. Well, he got it. The Bulldogs have taken a lead. Three to play in the third quarter. Derek Mahoney, the junior from Fountain Valley, has just given Fresno State a lead. We pause now for these messages from your local station. This is the Raycom Network. To kick it away, it is Estrus Quayton and Travis Hanna deep. It'll be Hanna again. A moment ago, he returned 150 yards. Not this time, as he has grabbed around the ankles of that Curtis Conway has strained a knee and may not return in this ballgame. Play action. Bob Johnson. It is intercepted. No, it's taken by Johnson. I thought he unloaded it. Second down at 11. Creighton's got it. He's across the 30, and there are five Bulldogs who grab him and spin him down. They can't allow him to get that bounce back in his path. Hit by Oliver and Demetrius Edwards. Trojans from the eye. Great. Ran right into Mike Mooney. Moondog couldn't get out of the way. And 7-0 to hide the 
play, third quarter. Fresno State 10, Southern Cal 7. Trojans from the shotgun. Johnson flags her down. Johnson. Pocket collapses and Johnson collapses. Surface and Brad Bell finally got to him. Pasadena, good snap. And oh, he gets a good one. Take it at the 42. down five yards to pick up seven return team ten yards for the foul that's why they call it smash mouth football smash face Dilbert play action he's going for it all quick Malcolm Sebron has had seven of those over 40 yards this year second down and ten little counter didn't fool anybody in Cardinal and goal. On the shotgun, Dilbert. Looking near side, steps up, he's going down. McGinnis with help from David Webb. Kick it away to Estrus Creighton. Creighton backs up, pulls it in at the 27. Crosses the 30. At the 37, loses the football. Fresno State's got it. At the 48 yard line, the Bulldogs have recovered. by Fresno State to get the ball. Dilbert under throws the coverage. It is complete to the 32-yard line and out of bounds. Dilbert audibilizing. He's going to change the play. Dilbert. Post pattern. Puts it up for grabs and is knocked away. To the left it is Lee Harris. On third down, now in three. Rod Rivers. It's the T formation. There's T. Heavy. Lorenzo Neal. He'll be awfully close. The Trojans say he didn't get it. I don't think he got it either. The Trojans stop him. It comes with 3-0-3 to play in the third period. It's Trent Dilbert talking things over with the coaching staff up here in the press box. Bulldogs lead at 10-7. That is Dwight McBeth. We need to take charge of this football game. Let's go back and play SC football. You saw that first team all Western Athletic Conference at his position. Dwight McBatten is hit by Watson. The coverage out here. Morton splits out wide to the left. Bob Johnson. All the time of the world throws and is cut. Morton's got it and he pays. At the 42-yard line, Johnny Johnson. Three wideouts to the near side for Southern California. On first and ten, Johnson looks this side, caught by Hanna, and Hanna is hit, and finally dropped at the 35. He's got a flag down. Yeah, instead of a first down at the 33-yard line, now they're back at first and 15. The setbacks, Mooney and McFadden. Johnson, pressure. He is going to be sacked at the 48. Sack rips the nose guard in second down. At 18, the ball at the 46. Johnson flushed out again. Throws to the near side and is cut at the 45-yard line by Travis Hanna. That's the end of the third period. We're coming back with the fourth and final quarter from Anaheim in a moment. Where are these high-powered offenses? Well, it's been high-powered defenses tonight. This is amazing. Rob Johnson. He's going for it all. Looking for Hannah. It was intercepted by Fresno State. Sam Watson. Finally brought down at the 28. What an interception and a tremendous return. First down, Bulldogs at the 28. Play action, Dilbert. Comes back sidearm to the near side. Caught by Anthony Daigle. Curtis Conway has just walked off the field, took off his pads. He is done for the night. Daigle once more a first down for Fresno State. Fresno State out of the eye. Dilbert over 
center. In motion is Daigle. Straight ahead it goes to Lorenzo Neal. But when you stop and think that Fresno State's averaged over 500 yards in the last four games, it's a subpar game for them offensively. No catch. One of the smartest and quickest quarterback that's ever played for him. And you have to stop a minute because his son Kevin was a pretty good quarterback at Fresno State. I bet your mom didn't like that. Well, oh, that caused some big problems at home. Yeah. <laughs> Dilfer. Oh, what a pass. Right over the middle it goes. To the 36-yard line of tight end Marty Thompson. Well, Dilfer has only been sacked once by Willie McGinnis. He was putting it up for grabs, looking for Jones. And it is knocked away. Gerald Henry has played all world all night now here in Atlanta. Quarterback bobbled the football. Zebron thus far tonight, one catch. That's unbelievable. Dilfer looking for Zebron and overthrows him. And Dilfer is that type of a leader. Mahoney to put it away. Angles it to the near side. And out of bounds it goes. He found the coffin corner. I get the feeling that, that this is just like a sparring match going back and forth, back and forth. I, and if I'm Fresno State, I don't want to spar with SC. White McBadden. Zach Riggs has played one whale of a ball game at nose guard for Fresno State. Johnson. He heard me. Ten yards. <laughs> Here's the penalty situation. Fresno State beat now for 64. They just whistled for five in sportsman like Condos. Johnson cut from behind and tackled. When Johnson starts the run. He just loses all vision downfield. Estrus Creighton. Everyone thinks about Johnson. He's a great prospect. He's got excellent size and good strength in that. But really, he just needs a little bit more poise. The ball. They have two your ball start. Yep. Open. Seven, four, and one sounds a whole lot better than six, five, and one. That's Hannah in motion on third and a long 11. Great. Third drop pass on this game for the tailback. John Stonehouse to punt it away. And he got a good one. Charlie Jones on a dead run takes it out of bounds. A lot of shifting. Now they'll go into the eye. Dilfer calls the signals that gives to the second man. And Larry, as a result of that game, saw Ron Rivers and tried desperately to recruit him. Dilfer. Well, he's going to turn a sack into a gain of three. But Fresno State has played error free football. Just so long that goes. Southern Cal with two turnovers. Dilfer looking downfield, drills a sidearm pass out to the 48 yard line. Michael Ross. I wonder if people compare him to Gino Toretta. He has the same size, he's got the strength in his arm. By the time he gets to be a senior, he's going to be a great leader, too. I wanted him a quarterback. Everybody else in the Pac 10 wanted him, but wanted him to play linebacker. Trapped to Lorenzo Neal. There's the full house formation. Dilbert, play action, puts it up for grabs, and he is incomplete. Oh, look at the cheerleading going on. A right tackle, and look at that effort. Lorenzo Neal. First down, Fresno State on the I formation. Rivers into the Trojan secondary. He rambles to the 30-yard line. Up front, controlling it. Second down and one. Rivers slices through the left side, and he's got another Fresno State first down. More than 12 minutes on the clock. That's incredible, but think again. This drive started at 901. We're at 430. That means it's a four and a half minute drive. It's run 11 plays now, and the clock just keeps on ticking. Lorenzo Neal is the lone setback. Trip receivers to the left side. Dilfer, looking for it. It is caught at the two-yard line. Titus Winans. He needs quiet. The offense has got to hear the signals. First and goal, goal on to the three. Touchdown, Fresno State. At 30, they go. Six minutes off the clock on this 12th 
advantage at 17 to 7. Mahoney lets it fly. Battle back down to them. It goes out of bounds. That is incredible. There's the sea of red. On the shotgun. Bob Johnson steps up all the time in the world. Throws once down. It's intercepted. Intercepted at the 44 by Fresno State's James Burton. Or my players of the game. Just played great football. Again, straight ahead it goes. And the locker room. I think that might have been on the bulletin board. Oh. Final comments in a moment. 